What up YouTube, it is your boy All About The Sneakers back with another unboxing and review video for you guys. Now today as you can tell from the thumbnail as well as the title of the video, that is correct guys, we're unboxing the Air Jordan 1 High OG Denim. Now, this sneaker here definitely popped up out of the blue for your boy. Had no idea this one was coming, although I think I may have seen images back earlier this year or last year. Honestly, I can't remember. There are so many releases just dropping back to back. It's hard to keep up. However, when I first saw images of this sneaker on Sneakers app, I was like, eh, I don't know if I'm feeling it 100% or not. I didn't even know if I was feeling it 50%. But I was leaning more towards maybe 40% liking it, 60% not liking it. However, as days went by, I continued to circle back, look at the images, and eventually I was like, oh, there's denim all on the upper. So at first I thought the dark darker area was some sort of leather. Zoomed in a little bit and realized it was all denim on the upper. Different colors of denim and hey, I was sold. So at that point, I figured I'd go after the sneaker at least to bring the unboxing and review to you guys and decide or debate whether I wanted to keep it or not, which typically once I cop a sneaker is here to stay. But then I figured hey, I don't have any denim anything in the collection, but I thought I may have had. Although the pairs that I was thinking about are technically called black canvas but appear to be denim. So I had to go look up the difference of canvas in denim and what I found out is they're very similar the difference is canvas has sort of a woven pattern that is symmetrical that resembles maybe a checkerboard pattern that's the word denim has a twill weave that resembles a diagonal shape so a slanted pattern had no idea but you can go verify yourself pull out a pair of your jeans and take a look at it or if you have anything canvas look at it as well and you'll see the difference and I say that to say these are truly denim and they are truly the only pair of denim sneakers I have in the collection now these sneakers did kind of just creep up up out of the blue as I mentioned but they did drop last Saturday on the exact same day as the Air Jordan 4 oxidized green so it caught me off guard these sneakers sold out on sneakers app maybe there are one or two straggler sizes left but for the most part all the sizes that typical people would wear sold out but I was able to luck up on a pair and here we have it today however guys before we go any further into the video if you're new to the channel or if you're not make sure you smash that like subscribe and share button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future release videos now comment below let me know what you guys are thinking about this sneaker did you go after it did you not are you not a fan of denim or like your boys your first pair of denim sneakers you had to have it in the collection comment below let me know as you guys know I'm always in the comments responding but without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into it all right guys and as you can see here we have the box that appears to be white with sort of a blue hue to it. Gives me cotton candy type of vibes. And this is really just a bleached denim look to the box. Very clean with black Nike branding. Taking a look at the top of the box, we get more of that black Nike branding with that same denim pattern all over the box. And on one side of the box, we have our side sticker. And the side sticker reads Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. The colorway is Summit White Obsidian. This is a men's US size 10 personal size for me in the Air Jordan. And the suggested retail price is 180 US dollars. 180 a little hefty price tag but that is the norm nowadays for Air Jordan 1 high OGs take it or leave it hate it or love it all of that good stuff your boy cop them anyway but a lot of people are anticipating sales on a lot of sneakers however when I saw these sell out on sneakers out I wasn't taking any chances however let's see what we have under the lid all right flipping the lid up on this one guys you can see we get our standard cardboard underneath we get our nike swoosh and a lot number right there and let me get my receipt out of the way flipping the tissue paper up on this as you can see we get that off-white sort of tissue paper and let's go ahead and get the shoe out and there we have it guys the air jordan one high og denim a very very clean sneaker in my opinion so glad to have this one in the collection now guys i want to say earlier this year maybe last year they released a women's pair of denim air jordan ones i think that was 
was this year. Can't remember, everything's just blending together. However, again, it was a women's pair. Some people liked it, some didn't. It came with like a bedazzled charm or hang tag or something like that on the sneaker. Frayed like Jordan tag on the collar. In that Wings logo, it was very clean, but I don't know, it did give me women vibes, especially with that jeweled or bedazzled hang tag that came with it. Not a bad shoe, but it did sit around for quite some time. I wanna say it even went on sale some places. Unfortunately, I didn't pick that one up, but luckily and thankfully, they did drop a men's pair, which is what we have here today. Personally, I like the men's pair better. There are some things about the women's pair I did like, but then again, like I say, it really did kind of give me women's vibes. No offense to any guys that copped it. I probably would have copped it too if I was feeling it 100%. Unfortunately, I didn't, but I'm glad to have this. All right, but let's go ahead and go over the shoe in depth here, starting with our outsole. As you can see, we do get this sort of, not a gum outsole, but it is a brown outsole. Maybe it is gum, who knows? But it's a lot darker than the typical gum that we will see. And I'll get a little close, you guys can see it does have a lot of little specks in it. So I believe that is a sustainable Nike grind material that they just take a bunch of recycled shoes, mash them together, and create these outsoles. Maybe some textiles for some uppers, but yeah, this is what we have, guys. I don't know if the upper is sustainable or not, but I can almost guarantee the outsole and the midsole is. And onto the midsole here, we do get a nice white midsole. And I'll get a little close. You can see it does have its specs in it as well. So yes, definitely Nike grind material with white stitching on up to the upper going around our toe cap, as well as this piece here up to our eye stay, our collar and our heel piece. We get that nice blue denim like you would see on a pair of jeans or a jean jacket. Very, very nice in my opinion. Here on this mid panel, we do get some white denim as well. And we also get that on our toe box, but it does have these slight wash denim areas to it where I'm sure this was blue at one point and they bleached it. And so you will get these little blue areas that appear to be discrepancies, but that is just how the shoe is made. Very nice and it resembles the box. We also get an obsidian denim Nike swoosh. It appears to be black. I originally thought that's what it was when I saw images on sneakers, but getting them in hand, looking close, it's really blue. And that is the obsidian color that was on the box in the colorway. But yeah, guys, so no black on this one, but from a far everyone will definitely think that's black we also get that on our collar as well again that is obsidian very 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 dark blue very nice in my opinion and we get that sort of deboss air jordan wing tag in white very nice as if it is stamped on the shoe or maybe pressed on the shoe should i say very nice in my opinion nice contrast looks good however that pretty much wraps it up for the lateral side of the sneaker moving on and on to the medial side of the sneaker we get a very similar look as we got on the lateral side i'll get a little closer you can see that blue denim in that white area just where it's washed a little bit better. It looks like a faded look. All pairs will be different, guys. It will not be the same on every shoe, but clean in my opinion. However, that pretty much wraps it up for the medial side. Moving along. Taking a look at the shoe from the top down, you can see that white going around our midsole. That nice jean navy or light blue going around our toe cap. And we get more of that white denim here on our toe box. The difference in this sneaker, though, we do get these little white stitched areas where it would be perforated on other Air Jordan 1s, but they went ahead and stitched it on these so you don't get perforation on there, which is going to be a lot less breathable for those of you who like to let your feet breathe a little maybe your feet gets really hot oh you're gonna feel it on this one personally this is the dislike of the sneaker that i would have a gripe about it doesn't look terrible though in person it's just different because it makes it look solid and plain from a distance where i'm used to having those perforated holes which i think is a nice look that gives the shoe its signature appearance but again not bad i'm not mad at this it's clean at least they made the stitch in the same color as the toe box so it blends well we also get flat white standard laces in place unfortunately no additional laces with this one. We also get a white nylon tongue and at the very top of the tongue we get a white Nike tag with obsidian Nike Air branding. Very very clean. Again appears to be black but it is obsidian a very dark blue. Nice in my opinion. Moving along. Taking a look at the shoe from the rear as you can see that high cut. We do get that Nike grind and that sort of gum like outsole. A white midsole. Blue denim going up the back. Even on our tab. You can see more of that white denim wrapping around the sides and we get more obsidian up on the top of our Achilles area very very clean just a nice look from the back hey man these sneakers will turn heads no cap however that pretty much wraps it up from the rear of the sneaker moving along taking a look at the interior hey man it's all kind of stuff in there tough to see inside so i'll go ahead and state it for you guys you can kind of see the obsidian here maybe it looks black in the camera but it is blue on this sock liner got that silky sort of feel to it or more like a mesh texture should i say we also get an obsidian insole with white nike air branding i'm not seeing a side sticker at least in my pair don't know if it fell out or if it's just not there at all but we also get our size tag on our side wall and that jargon on the back of our tongue in obsidian blue. However, that pretty much wraps it up in the interior of the sneaker. Moving along. And last but not least, guys, onto the outsole. You can really see it good now, that Nike grind material. As you can see up close, it has a lot of specs and it is just one color all 
over so it doesn't appear to be as gum like when you look at it head on from the bottom but very nice in my opinion looks like it won't get too dirty because it already looks dirty but just a nice clean overall look I uh, can't be mad at this one. however that pretty much wraps it up for the outsole moving along and again you just saw right here on all about the sneakers the Air Jordan 1 high OG denim a very very clean sneaker again glad to have this one in the collection so guys comment below let me know what you all think about this sneaker after seeing it here on the channel in that 4k view take it leave it what are we doing here guys how you feeling about it I personally think it's cool I think it's a good look it's very very clean it will blend well with a pair of jeans obviously since it has denim maybe a white tee just a clean look but I really want to see these on feet unfortunately I don't do on feet videos but I think these will be very clean rocking them with a fit in the summertime maybe even in the fall just a clean look overall I'm digging it. now these are not released at typical retailers I think they're more like boutique type of shops again they did release on sneakers but not even on nike.com so yeah one of those little tough to kind of get releases if they didn't release in your area but you can search online and you may be able to find a pair of retail so hey good luck guys if you want these if not I don't think they're going for too much on the resale market for those of you guys who are okay with purchasing that way should be fairly easy to get your hands on at this point however again if you're new to the channel or if you're not make sure you smash that like subscribe and share button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future release videos now guys I do want to thank you as always for tuning in and rocking with your boy as you know I rock with you guys 1000% however that is all I have for you guys today on this episode until the next episode keep keeping it all about the sneakers once again it is your boy all about the sneakers signing off until the next episode I will catch you guys later salute I'm out